Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. Now, a lot of the energy this month seems to be building in the sign just before yours, which is considered a particularly quiet part of your sky. Now, this means a few different things. One is, it means that next month is gonna be big. It's gonna be a time where things really start to change for you in pronounced ways and actually you're going to start feeling it before the month is even out late in the month mercury is going to enter your sign and it is going to feel as if one moment you were sleeping you were at rest and now the lights have come on and you're going to feel that energy that much more once we get you into next month big month coming up for you ahead with your own personal new year coming up but it also means other things as well. It means that you are feeling particularly connected to uh, an energy that is karmic, an energy that is spiritual. Uh, you're striving to understand yourself and your own mystical energy that much more deeply. And you are being guided to see how it is that you are living an example or, or living an expression of soul in your life at this time. And in this way, this is a part of the sky that on the one hand is connected to things like karma, good karma, uh, it's connected to soul and psyche, but it's also a part of the sky that is connected to karmic closures as well. And so where it comes to the closures, well, those are gonna come quickly and by surprise. That is because this month in the first, right about a week into the month as Mercury connects with Uranus in this part of the sky, right in the middle of the month, Venus will connect with Uranus in this very quiet part of the sky. It is gonna feel as if very quickly lights have come on, uh, wondering, okay, I didn't realize this factor before. Now, sometimes it's a factor about yourself, about a person, about a situation. Regardless of what it is, it is the truth, and it is a truth that ultimately empowers you once the beginning of the new and the next finds you before the month is even out. But what we also have happening this week is important lunar activity, and that also starts early in this month. Right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have a new moon in this very quiet and karmic part of your sky. Now this new moon is one of the best new moons that I have seen in a while. It is speaking in harmony with the Neptune. Neptune, of course, continuing to move through the very top of your sky and also speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto. Both of these planets are continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things. Access to resources and financial resources is part of it. Um, an understanding of where it is that you are ready uh, and you're open and you're willing to take effort towards meaningful transformations in your life. All of that is covered by the part of the sky where Saturn and Pluto currently are. And so this is very intimately connected to these energies of these planets are very intimately connected to a sense of shift, a sense of evolution, and a sense of karmic change whose time has come that is gonna find you at this time. Now, some of the best opportunities that are gonna come will take you by surprise. There's not a lot that you need to do with this energy. It's not like you have to go out there and make something happen and try to make connections. It's more about you relaxing and trusting the flow of your life and knowing that what is for you will come in your direction. Now, this is gonna feel a little counterintuitive in the early half of the month, and that is because Mars will remain in your sign in the first half of the month before leaving your sign mid-month. So this is actually gonna come in a little bit as a relief because Mars in your sign, it can be a little bit of an adrenaline rush, but it can also be just tiring and you don't realize how high strung you have felt, uh, how on edge you have felt until Mars actually leaves your sign and you experience that shift of energy. And so some of the blessing energy this month with that beautiful new moon with Venus, it's very much about allowing it to show up for you. And the part of you that is feeling motivated to go out there and, and feeling like everything's on your shoulders and you gotta fight for it, 
Well, channel it to the best of your ability by owning where it is that you are able to be a force of change in your life and surrendering where it is that you don't have power and you'll continue to use this Mars energy well. It is in the second part of the month, right around the 18th of the month, that we will have a full moon. Now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your day-to-day -day life. So consider this, we've got all this very dreamy energy, okay? Uh, all this energy in a very unconscious part of your sky. And then we have this full moon that says, come back to the day, okay? Focus on your daily rituals, your little routines, uh, the environments you find yourself in, the type of work you're doing, the people there, your health habits as well covered here. And then literally within days, we have Mercury entering your sign, also serving as a wake up call. Well, you can see how the energy starts to change quite dramatically right around the middle of the month or just a little bit beyond the middle of the month. So, this full moon is standing across the sky from Mercury. So there's a sense of needing to find balance of being aware or becoming aware of, in some cases quite by surprise, um, factors that you were not aware of before, things that have been going on behind the scenes and where it is that change is on the horizon. And this also suggests a need for finding balance or being willing to seek other perspectives or to consider other perspectives and developments as well. This full moon is also connecting with Pluto, but it's not as precise a conversation as I would otherwise like to see, but still there is a harmonious uh, flow of energy playing out there that you can tap into to move towards meaningful transformation. But you are gonna have to be conscious of it and you are gonna have to tap into the motivation within yourself. Wherever it is that it seems that things are changing, you can have things, events, uh, circumstances, work-related opportunities, the people who are there, health-related opportunities and making positive changes, you can have all of that come about, but it is going to require some diligence on your part to notice that much more improvement. And so for some of you, yes, this may be work-related. It could be at this time that a major project comes to an end. It could be that a coworker, perhaps a female coworker, leaves uh, and it's a moment of some surprise. Uh, there may be a moment of some back and forth between this coworker or immediate supervisor and someone else that leaves you feeling like, okay, something's gonna happen here and then something does transform within that particular situation. Uh, and it could also be a time when you find your role or your responsibilities going through a change and you have to find a way to balance yourself with what is being required of you now. For others, this energy is gonna play out more on a health-related level. It could be that you are getting information now that is inviting you to make changes, to move yourself towards a stronger state of health. Now, whatever it is, I'm not seeing anything like, you know, hugely uh, making you step uh, back in a big way, but rather this is an aspect and this is a energy of being empowered for yourself of making small changes on a day in and day out basis that can reap rewards for you very quickly so whatever information it is maybe you go out seeking it maybe you come across an article or a book that resonates with you and inspires you to make some changes that could be very possible whether it is in a more formal setting with a health professional, regardless, it looks like with a little bit of attention, you can experience massive and positive transformations going forward from here. Now, where it comes to matters of love, this month, well, look, the first half of the month is spent with Venus continuing to move through a very friendship-oriented part of your sky. This can be really nice energy. It's fun, it's light. However, a week into the month, we've got Venus making some uh, pretty intense connections with Saturn and with Pluto. And so if it is that your love life and your friendship life in any way intertangle, uh, this is where the entanglement is gonna feel especially felt. If it is that you are mixing love and your group related responsibilities, your participation in a group, well, this is where how entangled it can get may show up a little bit as well. Regardless, by the time we get to the middle of the month, Venus will move into a much more quiet part of your sky. And it is love that becomes much more personal at this time as well. For some of you, developments can come about 
that you are not necessarily ready to share with the world and for others it's going to be a time of getting to know someone uh, beyond words and so that could seem a little foreign to someone who is an air sign like yourself who likes to talk and exchange ideas but this month certainly is moving more towards what you feel and if it feels right so for those of you open to meeting someone new what an amazing month having venus uh, move into the sign just before yours it does suggest that it is very possible that you are connecting with people and that developments are taking place but again you may not be ready to announce it to the world just yet um, what's also possible with this energy though is that you may attract somebody into your life now but there's some factors there that are a little bit complicated and so you may come to realize that there are some complicating factors here with this person and you can decide uh, where it is and if it feels right for you to go forward from here for those of you getting to know somebody you know again we've got that factor there that says you may come to realize that there are deeper layers playing out here uh, that there are complicating factors playing out here and it really is okay as you continue with As you continue to navigate this month, some of what you realize about this person may take you by surprise and make you ask yourself, oh wow, okay, this is who you are and this is who I am and I didn't realize it before. And that puts you in a place of power because awareness, consciousness is power. And from that place of awareness, you can decide the best way forward. And for those of you who are in an established bond, it is very much about closing the door, having this energy exchange, this sacred space, the sense of connection between you and your partner um, that is working out more on a level of soul. And you may find yourself much more interested in what's happening on a level of soul and soul mates than you may otherwise be. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned before, next month is a big, big month where it comes to matters of love. Whatever happens now, make sure you're just rolling with it. It doesn't have to necessarily be very consequential. It may be where you realize what's working and what isn't. That, again, a place of empowerment. But next month, there's so much new and fresh and loving energy coming in that I think you are going to love very much. Whatever happens this month, keep it in perspective, knowing that even bigger opportunities and breakthroughs are coming up very soon. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is so much here, but I love how Mercury moves into your sign in the second part of the month. As you navigate about three weeks in the month or so, that is when Mercury will enter your sign. This is a big deal because this really is your ruling planet coming home. And as I said, it's like the lights coming on. It's like you become more aware of yourself and of others. And more importantly, uh, you become more of you than you have felt at least over the course of the last few weeks. And this is part of what is going to bring a sense of excitement and lightness and fun into your life. There's a sense of enthusiasm growing for the possibilities ahead. And by the time we get to the end of the month, you know that the energy has already started to change very much in your favor. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.